right now. It's a fight right now. This is your main event of the evening. Five by three minute rounds. Proudly sponsored by Logan City Demolitions. And when they bell tolls, they will be fighting for the eruption middleweight title. Here we go. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Last night weighing in at 72.3 kilograms. A fight record of 53 fights for 32 wins. 19 coming by way of devastating knockout. This man hails from Bowen, training out of Dingo Muay Thai with world champion Jake Lund in his corner. Please make welcome back to the Eruption Arena, the Dingo, Jay Tonkin. And now his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Last night weighing in at 72.3 kilograms. He has a fight record of 36 fights for 25 wins. Eight coming by way of knockout. Originally from Melbourne, but now calling the Gold Coast his home at the Strike Force gym with Mark Pease in his corner. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Eruption Arena. James Sweet as Honey. Both fighters, Waikou Ramoy. And the stats that matter in our main event of the evening, tail of the tape, James Honey. Of course, 72.5, 27 years of age. 36 fights, 25 wins, and uh, hitting great form at this point in his career. Of course, Jay Tonkett, also a fighter that is just getting harder and harder to battle with each and every fight. Coming off a fight with Charlie Bubb, an epic battle that was for him. His 53 fights experience, 32 wins. He's trained and campaigned all over the world. And tonight he's here absolutely to make a statement and consolidate his victory over Honey in their last encounter.
First round of our five-round main event of the evening. Mark the Hammer Castanini with Dane and Daddy Cool here at ringside at the Eruption Arena, Eagle Sports Complex. What a great night of action we've had. And no doubt our main event will continue to deliver. High-quality Muay Thai here, presented by Paul Demacoli and the team at Eruption. Daddy Cool, how are you seeing this one running? Yeah, look, very, very good match. Um, I'm loving Jay Tonkin stepping up in weight and battling Charlie Bubb, giving him a really good match. So he comes into this with a lot of confidence. On the other end of the ring, you've got James Smith as Honey stringing together a lot of good international fights since they've met last and uh, having some good wins too. So both boys, peak performance. I've, uh, I've got Jay just ahead, I think. Um, IQ-wise, I think he he can um, get the job done. I think he'll build off the back of Charlie Bubb and, and, and want to make a statement. It was a hard night at the office for him against Charlie Bubb, of course. But uh, no doubt he's been well prepared for this one. Training extensively also with Jake Lund, who uh, is a WC, WBC world champ. Lund are heading to Hong Kong in June to fight. So uh, similar body types as well, London Honey. So he would have yeah, would have had good prep, yeah. and his distance on his punching and kicking would have been honed using a taller sparring partner as well. Yeah, you, you follow any of these boys on social media, you see London Tonkin just duking it out in the garage, just stripping it all back. The two blokes spot the win. Of course, uh, Tonkin's fought in Thailand. Russia, China, Singapore, lived in Thailand as well for seven years. So uh, he's done his apprenticeship well and truly. And, uh, now looking to take things over, take things to the next level. Of course, losing to Charlie Bubb is absolutely uh, no embarrassment at all. He's an absolute machine, Charlie Bubb, and if he's watching, uh, a big shout out to him. One of the absolute, one of the greats of Aussie and World Muay Thai. Coming short of opportunities now, so if anyone is out there watching, give Charlie Bubb uh, a call up as well. You've got to take your hat off to Tonkin for uh, stepping up against Bubb as well. I believe that was on the hardcore promotion, so yeah, that was a, a solid, solid fight from the outset. Yeah, and it's, it's you know, it's hard to match Jake. He's a, re he's a real deal. Um, definite world beat up, definite uh, world rank fighter he probably doesn't get as much credit as he should and um, James Honey he's up for anyone so round one in the banks nice feeling out from both lads very hard to split but um, this will shape up to be a very very interesting fight Hammer absolutely of course uh, James Honey as well is just stepping up and leveling up with each fight these days got harder stronger you know, more experienced opponents, and that's helping him to uh, indeed improve. Having a look at some of the action from the first, they both had their moments, absolutely. Tonkin, that right hand with a step through, follow through low kick. So, how did the judges score this one? That first round so close. And we've had a few split decisions tonight, so different judges sitting on different angles will see different perspectives of the fight. Two or five underway here. The Eruption Arena, Eagle Sports Complex in Brisbane. Wherever you're watching, we hope you're enjoying all the great action of Eruption Muay Thai. Remember, give them a follow on the socials to stay up to date. The next Eruption show will be October 6th. October 6th, so save the date. If you're in Brisbane, save the date. Make sure you get along to it. And if you're in the state, make sure you tune in. Just doubling up the low kicks there, Tonkin on the taller opponent, Honey. Nice jab uppercut, Honey. 
He's got good hands, James Honey. Very accurate with his with his punches. You've seen him pop the jab there. That's, yeah, that's a nice jab. Beautifully done and fast. He keeps his elbow nice and tight, so it's not telegraphed. He doesn't flare his elbow when he jabs. So it's a real linear technique that's hard to spot. Chopping leg kick to hook. Tonkin, nicely done from him. Then back up to the body. Good work here from Jay. Looks for that big. Just needs to look where he's punching then. Right idea. And then we saw with Charlie Bubb. Put, put him on the chin, got him rolling rubber streak, so he's got some big power. Nice body shot and leg kick combo there from Tonkin. You see, I've seen Tonkin throw that right hand right kick, which is a bit unorthodox and hard to read, because when you're, you're, you're covering from that right hand, that right kick will come underneath. So he's tried that a number of times, but Honey's picking it. Honey grabbing the long kick, looking for the elbows, Jay, chopping away. I can, see, I can see Honey looking for an elbow as Tonkin comes in, though, Danny Gould. Yeah, Tonkin's just getting nice range there, big punches. And, of course, Hyde and Reach going Honey's way. Tonkin being the shorter fighter is utilising that overhand right we spoke of earlier that the shorter fighter will always go to. It's the number one tool in the toolbox, that overhand or rolling right. Tonkin's trying to present it to the jaw of Honey and then put the left hook on the end. Again, the right hand, right leg. Honey's awake to it now, though. He's checking. When he throws the right hand, he gets that leg check in place to watch that low kick, trying to hack away at the thigh. He's caught Honey with one of those punches. Just under the eye, it's starting to swell up a little bit. Bit of claret. Both boys very well balanced so far. Big buddy shot from Tonkin. Good vertical base. Tonkin, big body kick. Honey, cut over his left eye. I'll go to work on that. And uh, respect shown at the end, but uh, a, bit of, a, bit of a bit of staunching going on at the end there. Yeah, good round from the blue corner. I liked, uh, I liked his aggression there. You, you've got to take notice of, of good defense from Jay Tui. Puts his hands out, he's blocking from the side. He's got good defense, head defense. When the longer fighter's coming in with those long punches and he's getting kicks in, like you said, hammer, right yep. hand, right kick. He's, he's not doing your typical stuff. He's, he's got a game plan, right hand there, just off the target. Landing oh, yeah. some big ones. Yeah, the clubbing overhand rights are gonna, gonna be the go-to. Need to turn in on it a little bit more to, to rotate that jawline. So they hitting with that, that inside of the, you've got to sort of ping the jaw and spin the head to get that KO. Just growing with confidence at the end yeah. there. Yep. Tonkin's got a game plan for sure, trying to execute it. So what's to show that that first victory was no fluke. In turn, Honey looking for redemption starts with a solid sitting one, two inside Daiki. Oh, that's kick Tonkin. He's got a punch and kick upstairs. It's caught with that jab. Right hand, right leg, Tonkin. Good balance too, the boys trying to get each other on the grounds. We see another catch. And they nearly spilled to the lap of Paul Demigold. Give him a bit of a cuddle. The outside of the ring. Steve Jenko as well. Ringside. So, what a great turnout this has been here tonight. An eruption for this stellar matchup, stellar main event. Cross face guard attempt from Honey. Again, they tangle. Almost over the ropes. Good use of the push kick from Tonkin. Tonkin goes body head combo. He likes to smash the body with that right hand and then tries to put the left hook over the top, Daddy Cool. Yeah, he's um, yeah, big, powerful shots. Good defense here from, from the... Oh! Big punch again, just off the mark with the elbow. Honey and he wears, runs straight into that right hand. Both points go down. Big punch there from Tonkin, but Honey's not in any danger. Welcomes the elbow. 
Only seems to have shaken off that that right hand. That was a solid one though, and it worried me a little bit there. I wasn't sure. You know, he's good at hiding the hurt, James Honey. He doesn't show his hurt. But the reality is he could be a little bit in the fog and we wouldn't know. Yeah, he did, he did well. That was a big shot. He sneaks another little right hand through. Yeah, so that hand. Doing that double right, right, right hand, right leg, right leg, right hand, which is unorthodox because usually you flow from right to left to keep the body rotation and power working through. Oh, smashing head kick up from Honey. Big shot again there from Tolkien. And then big powerful kicks too. Honey, Honey could use that push kick up to the chest a little more, like we saw Connor Gillum do earlier against um, Jacopino. Kept smashing that push kick, having that slight height and reach advantage, and then moving off. Will keep it will keep Tonkin on the outside if he can get that push Ooh, kick up. Big right with the overhand right, and that's a count for Honey. Devastating for his scorecard. But we called it earlier that he called in with that right, that overhand right. Yep. It's going to be the go-to punch for the shorter fighter. He looks all right, honey, but he's, he's like you said, very good game face. Yeah, he and doesn't show hurt, James, honey. But um, that clubbing overhand right was always going to be the go-to for the for the shorter Tonkin. And he's, he's got a, a very... You know, sort of big, thick set of shoulders generates a lot of power through his punches too. If they if they land, you'll feel them for sure. Have a look at Honey. Honey's got that nice jab. He's probably not utilised enough as well. Yeah. So you see, there's the first one. He catches him. He recovers well, but he was luring him straight in, and then later on in the round, catches good defence there, good high guard, good push kick, waiting for his shot, and then boom. boom. Yeah. It's that back, back, forward. So step back, step back. Draw your, draw your opponent into your range and then roll and then throw. And it's exactly what Tonka did and he did it beautifully. Yeah, that was a beautiful shot. The last one, finding the range with the left hand, bang. Straight think, on the money. I think Honey needs this round to get, get back to controlling range with that jab and the long range kicking. Because if he keeps feeding his head forward, Tonkin's gonna roll on it again. Definitely, there's, oh, no. that, there's that rolling right hand, and Mark Pease would have given Sweet as Honey some choice words in the corner. You see Jay just on the attack. The counter to, the counter to that for Honey will be keep his left hand up and counter with a right knee. Because as he rolls, Tonkin's head's gonna, gonna go off to that right side of Honey. If Honey keeps the left, left guard high and throws that right knee up, you may meet either the upper body or the chin of, of Tonkin if he can get his foot up high enough. Or his knee up high enough, oh. rather, like that. Again, the rolling right. Tonkin, he's on a mission. He's on a mission to plant that right hand and spin the jawline of Honey. Great defense again. Blocks the kick, complete calm. Nice big left hook after the left body kick. Trying to set that right hand off the left kick now, Tonkin. What does Honey have to do here, Daddy Cook? Yeah, he's, he's, he's rattled, and the punches are, are proving to be quite damaging. But, yeah, get back to push, kick, good, long range of shots where he can't. He's got to think about what he's doing after he's throwing the punch. But he's not well here on the on the ropes. You see another big left hook from Tonkin, and he's just got to start piecing it together. Two or three together. Jay Tonkin, and I think he might catch him. There's a push kick we speak of. Honey needs to use that jab. The jab is such an underrated weapon for him. Well, there it is. Straight, long punching. Distance control from Honey has to come into play. Double jab, right elbow, Honey. He should use this round perhaps as a consolidating round rather than getting into a firefight that he got. I think use it as a consolidating round. Still got two to go after this one. Yeah, he's good. I think he is running out of time. A little bit hammer. I, I like what you're saying with that jab and setting things up, but he, he's charging forward and you can see Jay just tub thumping the body, but still very much calm and collected, looking for that big over-the-top punch, but 
Those elbows are starting to sneak through. He's got to keep his wits about him, blue corner. Tonkin, is he playing possum? Is he going to let Honey come forward and roll that overhand right to left hook? That's going to be the, the combination. Oh, big shots from Honey. <laughs> Tonkin shakes it off, says you got nothing. Both men playing that game of mental chess. Tight guard. Saying to Honey, you've got nothing. Trying to break his spirit, break his resolve. There it is. Round four, sorry. And a big round there again for Absolutely. Jake. So this is the fifth and final round by mistake. I thought we were in round, round three, uh, as I said earlier, but we're actually worse, actually round four. So we're heading into round five. And like you said, Daddy Cool, he's got a bit of ground to make up now, I feel, honey. Yeah, Daddy, he's got his, his eyes are starting to to swell up a bit as we watch the replay here. Big punches again, big kicks to follow. Honey just on, as you can see, Hammer just, he's wearing those punches, just a little bit of sorts. And Jay's just taking his time, looking for shots. Catches some, <laughs> little tears. He's loving every moment of this. His confidence is certainly riding high after landing some solid shots to the head of uh, Honey. What does Honey have to do? What has he got left? In the fifth and final oh. round here. In the main event of Eruption Muay Thai. Right elbow. Short hook, honey. Tonkin again, right hand, right leg combo. It's been unorthodox, but somewhat effective. Straight punching from honey. Honey needs a big round in this one, Daddy Cool. Yeah, he's, I, I feel he might need to try and get a knockdown of his own. But... Um, the dingo is not going to let him at all. Nice body kick, perfectly timed on his way in. After yeah. the upset against Charlie Bubb, Tonkin is looking for redemption <laughs> here tonight. And indeed doesn't want to let Honey get that win back either. He wants to show that the first victory was no fluke. Which body, one, two from Honey. Tonkin Rook, switch off the lead. And just has good composure. After he throws, even though Honey's putting the pressure forward, it's not really phasing Tonkin. He's got his calm under pressure, his calm under fire. Well, there's a few punches. Yeah, we see the pressure from Honey. Jay can't relax here. Uh, I was just about to say, he can't take his foot off the accelerator that much. He needs still to present here in the last round, Tonkin. Honey looking to turn this one on its head here in our main event. Don't forget, folks, October 6th, the next eruption card will no doubt be stacked. Potentially Jonathan Ayulu. Oh. Back. Cheeky uppercut from Tonkin there. Albert Tua back. Either of these guys, mate. It's going to be another stack card up to over six. But right now, final moments are ticking down in our main event here. Honey Tonkin, who have you got at home? Oh, oh tricky uppercut, Tonkin. Honey. Looking for something, looking for the big finish. Needs the flow to an elbow. Tonkin content to tick down the time on this one, Daddy Gould. Yeah, 20 seconds to go. He's very much the counter fighter. I feel he's ahead on points, he knows he's ahead on points. He's just got to keep that guard up. Ride the clock out. Good clinch work there as the referee pulls him apart. Probably for one last time. There it is. Fucking walk up. It's been done. The main event here on Eruption. Jay Tompkin came in to prove that the last win was no fluke. And was looking for 
Redemption looking to redeem himself after the epic battle he had with Charlie Bubb. Perhaps looking for a rematch with Charlie. Who knows? The Jay Tonkin uh, certainly fall like a bit of a man possessed tonight, Daddy Cook. Yeah, definitely. Um, he's, a, he's a definite world beater. Jay Tonkin, we're very lucky to have him. And, you know, this is a world class fight just here in Brisbane, both boys. So great effort from both fellas. But, um, yeah, definitely a good win there, I, I feel, for the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, before I read out the scorecards, a massive round of applause for these two main event combat warriors. What a main event. <laughs> At the end of five rounds of middleweight Muay Thai, we have gone to the judges' scorecards. It is a majority points decision, declaring your winner and the new Eruption middleweight champion, Batingo J. Tonka. Tonka getting a, a well deserved victory here tonight against the very willing and determined James Honey. He certainly came uh, to challenge and try and take this title. But tonight, Tonkin gets the strap, gets the hardware around the waist. Well deserved. He's done the hard work for this one. And uh, He's back in the winner's circle tonight, Jay Tonkin, and we look forward to seeing a lot more both of these two great warriors in future eruption events.